the five hole. Your favorites come on the outside of this field for tonight's sixth race. You have a seven to five shot in Whitsendsdale, four to one for the Porter Gray in front court at seven to two. Tom Durkin set with a call. And they're off. Whitsons dales away quickly. Schnuckert is there. And Ralphie Boy from the rail into the first turn. And Ralphie Boy takes the lead. Whitsons dale ranging up on the outside now. Just in behind the lead, Hurricane Jackson is away racing in third position. And Schnuckert is now parked out fourth. Perfecto Lobel has come away fifth toward the inside on the outside. Front court now moving steadily. Then farther back, it's Impressive Royce racing seventh, followed by Anson Hanover eighth. Pat Cash is ninth. And the Porter Gray is tenth at the quarter in 28 and two. And they're into the back stretch now. And up top, it's Whitsense Dale dictating the pace. Ralphie Boy is now back racing in second after moving to the outside momentarily. Front court is now left first over. Down inside, Schnockert is now racing in fourth position. And then uh, off stride, they're just uh, rough gated a bit momentarily there. Went front court backing up. Impressive Royce, who's now checked in behind that one. And front court has just stopped abruptly. Most of the field scattered in behind. Just sidestepping was Impressive Royce. Anson Hanover had to veer to the inside to avoid the breaker. Pat Cash was checked, as was the Porter Gray. Taken out of it was Perfecta Lobel. And off stride now at the back of the pack is front court. The half goes in 58 seconds flat unaffected by the uh, breaking horse was Whitsons Dale the leader Ralphie boy coming out after him now and then Schnockard third by the back Hurricane Jackson fourth Turning for home off three quarters and one, 27 and four at the top of the stretch. Whitsensdale bracing for the challenge to come. Ralphie Boy attacks, and here comes Schnockard charging down the center of the racetrack. And Schnockard takes the lead as they come down to the final 16th and pulls away. Schnockard now drawing off here for an upset victory. And farther back, it's Hurricane Jackson. Schnockard on the line by three and a half. One of the clever things about horse racing is how they come up with names. And I'm, this one was really clever. The ingenuity, Stanley. And Abercrombie, son of Abercrombie, out of the Meadow Skipper Mare, Gentle Persuasion. Great deal of ingenuity to come up with Schnocker. <laughs> also, you figured that out. It's interesting that he is a free legged horse racing without the hobbles. And it's interesting that he does the job for Sam DePinto, who also was a developer of the outstanding Michigan trotter Red Roan. Uh, DePinto gets Schnocker home here in easy fashion down to the stretch. And as you'll see, he's the only one in the field with no hobbles, no straps on his leg, nothing prettier to watch than a three-legged pacer in action. And there is one with a three-length victory over Hurricane Jackson and the fast-closing, the Porter Gray. Uh, always fast-closing, the Porter Gray. It's a little bit off the pace again, though, but comes up to get in the money. But Schnockard wins it as number six, 3580, 1840, 680. Frank Carreri, Pat Mazzell, and Shannon DePinto own the seven-year-old son of Abercrombie. One Hurricane Jackson was second, 1540 and 560, and nine the Porter Gray finished third, four dollars even exact to six and one. It's a biggie, 414 dollars even. Tonight's seventh race.